listening to the Agent Survival Guide podcast. A podcast for today's insurance agents. Informing. Educating. Empowering. Improving the way you do business in an industry that's anything but static. In today's episode, be an expert advisor to your clients navigating the ACA market. How to assist clients with Medicare household income estimates, written by Emily Ryan. All individuals applying for an Affordable Care Act insurance plan through either the federally facilitated marketplace or a state-based marketplace must report their household income. This allows the marketplace to estimate your client's eligibility for cost-saving reductions. To help you better assist clients who are applying for marketplace coverage, we'll discuss the process of estimating their income, what information you need to have available to do a proper estimation, and how to report changes throughout the year if they occur. Now, let's get into the breakdown of how to estimate household income. First, there are a few pieces of information you and your client will need to gather to properly estimate their household income. Have handy a recent federal tax return, some basic info about their household, and what they expect their income to look like for the upcoming year. Next, note the number of household members. The household members include the tax filer, their spouse, if applicable and legally married, and any tax dependents they may have. Even if these individuals do not need health care coverage, include them in the number of household residents. Healthcare.gov has a chart that helps clients decipher unique situations where it may be difficult to determine household members such as children whom they may not have full custody over, foster children, and roommates. After household members, calculate the amount of taxable income. When clients enroll in coverage, they'll need to estimate their household income for the upcoming year, rather than the previous year. Clients will input their current monthly income and their yearly income. You will need your client's adjusted gross income from their federal tax return, including wages, tips, unemployment compensation, and so on. If applicable, any excluded foreign income, non-taxable social security benefits, or tax-exempt interest should be recorded. You will use these dollar amounts to calculate your client's Modified Adjusted Gross Income, or MAGI for short, to determine their eligibility for cost reductions. Your clients may be required to submit documentation, proving income such as pay stubs and a letter of explanation. Additionally, your client must report any taxable income of household members who do not need health coverage. Subsidies and other savings are estimated from total household income. For individuals who work irregular hours or seasonal work, report their current income. You can assist them with updating their income on the application. If your client has experienced a significant life change that has affected their income or number of household members, remind them to update their application as quickly as possible. These changes may affect the savings they are eligible for, even if your client has already successfully enrolled in marketplace coverage. Updating their application ensures that they are getting the cost reductions they are eligible for. For example, if your client begins to earn more, remind them to update their application and offer your assistance. If a member of their household leaves the home, help them through the process as well. These clients may qualify for less cost-saving reductions. 
If your client does not properly report these changes, they may owe more when they file their income taxes at the end of the year. Additionally, if your client is earning less than they were before, help them to update their marketplace application for these changes as well. They may be eligible for more savings than they were previously. If a new household member joins the home, your client could be eligible for a lower monthly premium or a Medicaid plan or CHIP plan. There are several states that have expanded Medicaid eligibility under Medicaid unwinding. Now let's go over the steps to update household income. For clients using a state-based marketplace, or SBM for short, refer to the marketplace in your state to update their information. Clients participating in the Federally Facilitated Marketplace, or FFM, can update their information online by calling the Marketplace Call Center at 1-800-381-2596 or the TTY number at 1-855-889-4325, as well as in person with you. The online marketplace portal makes it easy for clients to review and edit their existing applications. Once an application has been updated, you will have to resubmit it. Clients should follow these seven steps to update their application online. Number one, have them log into their healthcare.gov account. Number two, they should choose the application they want to update. Number three, click Report a Life Change on the left-hand menu. Number four, read through the list of changes and click Report a Life Change to get started. Number five, they'll select the kind of change to report. Number six, have your client navigate through the application and report any changes to income, household members, or address, new health coverage offers, and other information. Finally, number seven. After finishing the first six steps, your client will get new eligibility results explaining their options to change plans. If prompted, they must complete enrollment for changes to take effect. If you're an agent selling ACA plans in FFM states, consider using Health Sherpa to simplify your enrollments and keep client documentation in one place. You can submit an application update on your client's behalf if they enrolled through Health Sherpa. The process to report a life change in Health Sherpa works like this. Step 1. Log in and access your agent dashboard. Step two, click on clients, search for the client, and click on their name. Step three, select report changes. Step four, after updating the application and downloading your client's updated eligibility results, a prompt will come up to confirm and finalize the enrollment. Step 5. Indicate if the individual will use their full amount of approved tax credit and select Enroll to finalize. The process should go smoothly, but if you run into issues, here's some tips for troubleshooting common errors. The most common error that you may receive when reporting or updating a client's household income is a data matching issue. These are inconsistencies between what is reported and what is estimated by the marketplace. You can help your client avoid these errors by properly reporting all income, completely filling out the marketplace application, and accurately predicting future income. Carefully ensure that the application is accurate and complete. Help them file their application and reconcile their premium tax credit. 
Correctly estimating your client's household income is crucial to make sure that your clients receive the savings they're eligible for. As their agent, you're their trusted advocate, and you're responsible for assisting them through the process. We're here to help you be a better agent for your clients with resources such as our guides and ebooks, including the Complete Guide to Selling Affordable Care Act Insurance Plans, and Night School, our online educational resource. We'll have the links to these and more resources in the episode notes, so be sure to give them a look. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at asgpodcast at ridderim.com or by leaving a voicemail at 717-562-7211, and we'll get our experts to help you find answers. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you next episode. The Agent Survival Guide podcast is a production of Ritter Insurance Marketing, an integrity company. This episode was written by Emily Ryan, script proofing by Sarah Rupel, recording and production by me, Tina Lamaru, podcast design by Urban Rivera, Artwork by Vivian Zhao. Rate and review our show on Apple or Spotify. 